Hello people, in this video let us look at vocal polyp. So in this uh, image, you can see here on the vocal fold at the, on the free edge, this is the free edge, right? You can see a polyp. So this is anterior and this is posterior, right? So if this is anterior and posterior, <clears throat> this will be what left and this is right, isn't it? So he has a polyp on his left side, this person. So this is a vocal polyp, which is on the vocal fold. So basically what you should understand here is, this vocal polyp is unilateral, right? And it is slightly bigger than a vocal nodule. So vocal nodule you have already seen, there will be like some small dots, bilateral condition. But here this is a polyp, right? It is a slightly bigger growth and that is kind of, uh, it flops up and down. That is a vocal polyp. So, in benign tumors of uh, larynx, we have, uh, what and all we have? We have, these are non-neoplastic conditions, right? Non-neoplastic conditions in that solid and cystic, we have solid vocal nodules and vocal polyp. So, currently we are here in vocal polyp. So, vocal nodule you have seen, bilateral just like dots they will be, right? But vocal polyp will be unilateral and it will be a little bigger. And these vocal polyps, right, they can flop up and down. Now, uh, this will be seen in people who abuse their voice or misuse their voice. Usually, it is in men who are in the age group of uh, 30 to 50. And if they are smoking, then they will have some other contributing factors like allergy and smoking. Then their risk will be more. Okay. So, this is about vocal polyp, vocal abuse, vocal misuse. So, basically what happens, there will be sudden shouting, right? This sh sudden shouting will result in hemorrhage. So, that is bleeding, hemorrhage uh, in the vocal cord and subsequent submucosal edema. Submucosal edema. So, this is the posterior view of the larynx. Here you can see the vocal folds, right? How the airway is. So, here they are, they are saying that because of hemorrhage in the vocal cord, there will be submucosal edema. Okay, submucosal edema will be there. Then what will happen? The person will develop a vocal polyp. A vocal polyp is unilateral, right? We told you it is unilateral. It is arising from same position as the vocal nodule, which is uh, where, where is the vocal nodule uh, also arising? Free edge of the vocal cord um, at the anterior one third and posterior two thirds. So that is what we saw here, right? Anterior one third and posterior two third. Somewhere here you will have the polyp. It is soft, smooth and often pedunculated. So, it will have kind of a base, right? Stalk, pedunculated. It will flop up and down during respiration or phonation. So, it will flop up and down. And what will be the symptom? Symptom will be hoarseness of uh, voice, right? And if there is a large polyp, then what will happen? He will have difficulty breathing. So, the air cannot enter the trachea. So, he will have dyspnea, strider, intermittent choking also he can have. Uh, some people, what they can have? They can have diplophonia. Two vo double voice because uh, each uh, vocal cord is vibrating at a different frequency. The one with the polyp is a little more heavy. Okay, so its frequency will be different, and uh, the one without the polyp, that frequency will be different. So there will be diplophonia. Okay, there can be diplophonia. Okay, so this is all about the vocal polyp. Let's continue to the treatment. So treatment, you have to remove the polyp. You have to surgically excise it under microscope and then you have to give him speech therapy. So basically here they did not tell him to rest and all that. Directly they are telling operation. So what is the surgery going on here? Microlaryngeal surgery. <coughs> okay. So surgery is the treatment for vocal polyp. You have to remove it and then you can train voice train him. Okay. So that's all in this video on vocal polyp. So it's a non-neoplastic uh, solid tumor benign and it is because of abuse or misuse of voice uh, men in the age group of 30 to 50 uh, and risk factors can be allergy smoking basically the sudden shouting leading to hemorrhage in the vocal cord and re resulting in submucosal edema please note this point these are all very specific things then it is unilateral condition and you saw it will be uh, on the free edge of the vocal uh, fold at uh, one third anterior one third and posterior two third junction right that place 
it is soft smooth pedunculated it can flop up and down when you are breathing or talking hoarseness of voice can be there if it is a large polyp then it can cause um, a dyspnea strider why because if it is a large polyp what will happen it will block the airway right so if it is large polyp there can be dyspnea strider intermittent choking <coughs> some people there can be diplophonia double voice because of uh, different vibratory frequencies of the two vocal cords the treatment is surgical excision and you can give some speech therapy also okay that's all for now in this video on vocal polyp bye bye